Hello guys, these days with coronavirus spreading, it's really important to have visual data so ordinary people would understand the numbers and visual charts are one of the best way. So I've created a small mini demo project that shows the cases of coronavirus currently in our region where we live in Lithuania, in Central Europe and Baltic countries. So just actually it's the answer for anyone who is asking me how am I doing. So Baltic countries, three countries, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia are doing relatively well. In my own Lithuania there are only 26 cases as of now. Latvia and Estonia are a little worse, so Estonia has 200 already for relatively small population, but we're not at exponential growth, at least yet, fingers crossed. So let's learn how to create something like that, and I've created that with two tools, with our quick admin panel to manage the data. So if you click infections, you'll have a table of report date, country and infections. And from that, on a dashboard, you see the chart. So one tool is Quick Admin Panel, and second tool is our own package, which we use inside of Quick Admin Panel. It's Laravel Charts for simple charts like this one. And just now, I've released a new version of that package, which allows conditions and multiple data sets like this one. So let me show you a demo. Let's create a new project in Quick Admin Panel. Infections, for example. I will choose my own favorite theme, Core UI. We create the blank panel. By default, it contains something for user management, which we don't really care about now. Now we need a module called Dashboard and Reports. We will use that later, so for now we just install that. And then we need to create two CRUDs, or two menu items they are called, menus or CRUDs. First is Countries. And for countries, you have a specific function that if you add countries, system suggests you to create the countries table with data for you, with countries of the world. So that is being generated in the background. And then we create another menu item called infections. So infections, then field should be belongs to relationship to country. So which country? Model is countries and we will show country name in the list. Save, then date, report date, date picker, report date, required, and we save that field and third field will be actual infection. So it's integer, infections, also required. Save and we save that CRUD. And finally I will build a report in dashboard widgets. So this menu item is active if you installed the module. So we add new dashboard widget, line chart, data source infections, Aggregating data is sum of infections grouped by day. This is exactly what we want. And cases by day. Now part of that will be generated by Quick Admin Panel, but inside of Quick Admin Panel, there's no way to set multiple data sets. So I will do that manually after download. Okay, so it's generated. We can click preview panel and it's deployed on our server. And I will show you the default what is being generated. Meanwhile, we can click view code and I will show you what is the code for generating the chart. So in admin home controller, it's this. So this is how to use our package. Quick admin panel isn't free, but the package itself is free on GitHub. So if you want to use that, basically you specify the model infection and then some more parameters. And as a result, we preview the panel. We log in with admin and password and we should see the country is being generated chart is empty for now country list is not empty and if we start entering the data for example i don't know let's bring italy yesterday's date at 20,000 or something they are probably at 30 by this point and then another date will be for example this one and if we click on the dashboard back it should show the data now. So this is how it works by default in Quick Admin Panel. It would sum all the numbers into one chart. But after download what I've done here in addition to that code is this one. So new parameter in that package array conditions and you can specify raw condition of country equals something in my case. You can specify color, whether it's green, or you can do something like that. Should also work. And then name can be whatever you want. So again, the result of that is this one, this chart. I will put the final code on GitHub now, so check it out. 
create your own charts, whether with our package or with Quick Admin Panel, and I hope your curve in your country will be flattened as quickly as possible and we can be back to living happy everyday life. In the meantime, I will try to create the content for you or YouTube or Twitter to give you something to read or watch outside of coronavirus topic. See you guys in other videos.